Welcome, welcome everybody to Joe of All Vapes. We're going to switch gears a little bit today. We're going to be reviewing an RDA that was sent in to me by a company called SPQR. So this is going to be my first RDA review. And on top of that, I'm going to show you a quickie coil build that is going to give you amazing clouds, solid flavor, and work really well in one of these RDAs. So stay tuned. Welcome back to Joel Vol Vapes, everybody. So, the SPQR RDA. This is the awesome little felt bag that uh, the guys at SPQR sent to me. I'm going to bust this bad boy out and I'm going to show it to you. I only actually used this once, but I kind of wanted to get a feel for it before I let everybody else um, uh, see what uh, what's going on with this guy. If you've heard of SPQR, first of all, I just want to relate on that just a little bit. It is Latin, and I... For the life of me, I, I, I know I'm not going to be able to uh, remember the Latin phrase, but what it means is it, it is a, a synonym for the Roman Senate and its people. So there's the history behind that. You can you can you can Google it all you want. Just put in SPQR, and I'm and and this I know this definitely is not necessarily a plug for uh, for the company, but definitely go onto Instagram and look at uh, SPQR as well. They also make an award winning, literally award winning line of awesome e juice. They sent me some samples of that too, um, and it's it's really good stuff. I'll show you that a little bit later. But first of all, here is the SPQR RDA. One thing I really dig about this is the bottom flow uh, airflow option. And what that's going to do is really bring up a solid cross flow of air that is not only going to keep the device cool, but it's constantly giving you just this really nice upward draft of uh, good quality solid vapor, and especially those for the high VG um, uh, lovers. That's really going to give you um, uh, some solid stuff. So I'm not going to bother getting into this at this camera pace. We're going to switch uh, switch it up just a little bit, and I'm going to give you an in-depth close-up as well as the coil build. We're going to throw some cotton on this bad boy, put uh, some solid juice on here, and you're going to see some, uh, some vape in action. So here we go. Okay, so here, as you can see, I've got it broken up into its integral three parts. We've got the 510 connector piece, and it's got a copper connection. So you're going to get a really, um, you're going to get a really solid uh, uh, conductivity with that guy. Um, I never have to worry about this thing firing. It, it always fires very reliably. The one uh, downside that I, I, I think a lot of you guys can relate in is um, these, uh, these hex screws. I really don't much care for the hex screws. I've really fallen in love with the Allen screw um, uh, post connections. Um, it, it, I think uh, the Allen screws are just, uh, you can get a little bit of a tighter grip in there when you're putting co coils of um, you know any size diameter. You, you got a pretty good size post hole on these, and I'll kind of get a little bit of a close-up here. It's really not that bad. It's not the largest that I've ever seen, um, you know, comparatively to something like the Twisted Messes or the uh, the Royal Hunter. It's it's about a mid-sized post hole. So, you know, anything that's uh, super large, you know, a lot of the bigger Claptons or the, the Braided or the Aliens, um, you might have a little bit of an issue. I've, I have heard about some guys actually taking uh, drill bits and opening those up just a, a little bit more. You know, I mean, if you're comfortable doing that, I'm not going to bother doing something like that because the RDA build, the coil build rather, that I'm going to be showing you tonight is going to fit really nicely in these uh, the, this four, uh, four post hole connection and give you really, really solid vapor. So um, just kind of give you a little bit of an idea. You can see that um, it's got a pretty deep juice well. Now, the one thing is the bottom airflow goes right into the juice well. So you can't really overfill these guys because they'll, the juice will end up coming out of this airflow uh, hole right here makes it a little bit cumbersome for those of you that like a really deep juice well and you just drip about 20 good drops in there and just call it, you know, kind of call it good. Um, any good RDA, uh, if it's worth its weight in whatever it's made out of, um, is going to have a solid drip well. But you're, you're looking at more of something uh, through a quality of design factor, in my opinion. This is a pretty good quality design. I really love the bottom airflow. Um, the construction is fairly solid. This is not a flimsy designed uh, RDA. It's very good quality. Um, you know, like I said, my only con is is these uh, hex screw connectors. But you know, I mean, all in all, when it comes down to it, that's really not that big of a deal, right? You know, we can get over that kind of stuff like that. So um, you're gonna look at uh, we're gonna look at the top connection piece here. This is a plastic drip tip, 
And this actually comes out. It's kind of wedged in there pretty tightly right now. Um, but you can uh, interswitch these. You got the, the O-ring. The one thing I will say about this RDA is that um, this, uh, this O-ring right here is pretty tight. I actually had a little bit of a time getting this thing off of uh, the collar piece right here. And it um, goes on like that. And you can actually you can see where the little slot uh, opening right there is. So you can adjust the airflow accordingly. Um, this, I actually kind of had to push out with my little screwdriver a little bit because it was just in there so tight. A lot of people like that factor. I don't much care for it. I like a little bit easier of a flow. Um, but I mean, you definitely don't have to worry about juice leaks. That's for darn sure. So usually what I do is I'll take even, you know, just a little tiny bit of juice or even um, just, just a fingertip dab of uh, vegetable oil. And I'll just take and kind of rub it around the circumference of this little rubber o-ring and that just kind of gives a little bit more uh, uh slippage uh, just just so you can kind of pull this off and on just a little bit better so um we're just going to go ahead and um pop that baby back on and just kind of snaps on and uh first of all i'm using my constar coil kit it is not the coil master i like the constar just a little bit better because it's got these convenient cute little uh little scissors that just kind of collapse within themselves and I've got an extra little pocket back here for a couple of batteries. Save some, some of the last coils that I got left from my uh, my sponsor, Coil Killer. And of course, you get your little jig set up here, and uh, your little pliers and tweezers and cutters and all kinds of good stuff. So, you've seen the RDA. Let's bust out a quick and easy, very simple coil build. We'll uh, we'll put them in, in uh, the RDA here. We'll fire this bad boy up, and I'll show you what we can accomplish with this RDA. Okay, so what I've got here is a drill bit, some 100-foot roll of 24-gauge uh, Canthal A1, and I got this from AmazingVape.net Premium. I don't know how premium it is. It's 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 pretty basic as far as uh, wire is concerned, but um, it, uh, the drill bit is pretty much the most important part here. Now, now first of all, this is going to be a micro coil. If you haven't already picked up on this, you're going to want to use a one thirty seconds of an inch drill bit, and you're going to want to use the back end of it, not the little drilly part here. Okay, not the trundle part. And uh, what you're going to do is take about oh, I like to take about a good one or two foot piece of Canthal. I always like to work with just a little bit more than I think I'm going to need, just in case. You're just going to take this and kind of straighten it out. Get it about as straight as possible, because we're not going to use a jig on this. We're going to do this one old school. We're going to do it by hand. Okay, so you got a little knurled in right there, and I kind of like that knurled end, and I'll show you why. So we're gonna take the drill bit, and I'm sorry that this couldn't focus in just a little bit tighter, but as you can see where the end of the uh, the curls end, right there on the drill bit, we're gonna take the little knurled end of the wire here and kind of wrap it around that. And then just by hand, what I like to do is I take the thumbnail right here and I take the wire and sort of push it up like that. So it's got like kind of a, kind of a little S-shaped or L-shaped, what have you, shape to it. And I'm going to keep my thumbnail there. Now, with this wrapped around the drill bit very loosely, I'm going to hold on to it pretty tight between my thumb and forefinger and the opposite hand. And then I'm going to start wrapping. Now, the first couple wraps don't really matter that much. It's not a necessity. It's basically just to start the whole process. As you start wrapping, you're going to want to make sure that you get about as tight a coil connection as possible. So we're gonna do a 12 wrap on this. And you can see how the wire is kind of bent up, but it still stays straight when we have it on the drill bit. And don't worry if you get a wrap or two over, or, you know, they're, see how they're kind of separated a little bit. Don't worry about that. We're gonna straighten everything up. A little bit of a tighter grip there. Just like that. Okay, so that's a rough estimate of what we're going for. And as you saw, the vape cat's always gotta be in the shot. So that's, uh, that's the life that I live. So anyways, at this point, 
And as you can see, the vape cat's always got to be in the shot. That's uh, pretty much the life I live nowadays, guys. So at this point, what we're going to want to do is take our little needle nose and just sort of kind of give it a little bit of a squeeze. Now, you're not really doing anything major here. Basically, all you're doing is trying to get them as close together as possible. And keeping them on the drill bit is pretty paramount at this point. You can play around with it a little bit once it's on the actual RDA. And then all you're going to do is take the other end of this, the little knurled bit that we were holding on to, and just back it off. Just back it up. Okay. Straighten everything out about as best as possible. I know it looks like a mess, but we're pretty much going to clean this up about as best as possible. Take my little pliers here, smooth this out, make that nice and straight. There we go. What I like to do at this point is cut one of the legs just a little bit longer than the other. The reason I like to do that is because the longer leg is the one you're going to be inserting into the RDA post hole first. That will be your guide, allowing the shorter leg to kind of wiggle in there just a little bit easier. Now that you've seen how to make a 24 gauge 12 wrap micro coil, I'm going to make another one. We're going to install it into the RDA and go on to the next step. Okay, so we've got our two 24 gauge, 12 wrap micro coils. Can't tell which one I did off camera, right? Okay, just making sure. And starting with the long wire, okay, we're gonna stick it through the negative first. Doesn't really matter which one you stick it through first. I'm just starting with the easiest access point and guide it through into the positive. Leaving just barely, I'd say, just short of an eighth of an inch or a good five millimeters if that's what you're going for. And tighten that bad boy on. Take our little clippers here and just cut off the ends that are not needed. Now, if it's a little bit bent, misshapen, just kind of see how it's got a little bit of a curvature to it. This is the time where you want to take your little needle nose and kind of just very gently give it a little bit of a repositioning. Play around with it a little bit. What I like to do is I'll take my 1 seconds drill bit again, stick it right back through there, and at the point, because on these um, coils, you know, one coil is going over one way and the other one is ending the other one. So you kind of want to work with it in the direction of which you made it. So what I like to do is take the drill bit and I'll actually bend it upward a little bit causing it to tighten and straighten in the natural formation in which it was wrapped. And what that's going to do is keep the coil in a nice formation. Then we can take our needle nose and just sort of give it a little bit of a crimp. Keep everything nice and tight. And when we take that out, it's a little bit tighter, as you can see. We're going to take our drill bit once again, put it through this coil because it's a little mangled up, and just give it another little yoink upwards at an angle, tightening everything up a little bit. Take our needle nose once again, give it just a little bit of a baby squeeze, And just kind of play with it a little bit until it gets to a nice, comfy little position. 
So that's pretty tight. And that is, in a nutshell, your dual 12 wrap, 24 gauge micro coils. And obviously they're not perfect, but trust me, they will do the trick. We're gonna fire this up on my ohm reader, just for the heck of it, and see what we get. 0.3 on the dot. That's pretty darn solid. You're gonna get some really good vapor out of that. We're gonna load this up on my mech mod, on my Emma mech mod, and I'm gonna load it up with some cotton, and we're gonna fire this baby up and we're gonna see what she can do. So we've got a decent fire on these little guys. Really good center burn. Like I said, not my perfect, most amazing coil builds, but you can kind of get the, get the picture of what we're going for here. Very nicely done. They fire pretty quickly. They fire pretty hot, as you can see. And sorry about the smoke. That's just a slight amount of residue from the last build that I did. We're going to wait till these guys cool off. And I'm going to show you how to load your micro coil build. Okay, so let's do this. We're going to use Kendo Vape Cotton. This is probably by far some of the best um, a wicking cotton material that I have ever tried. You don't have to boil it. It is very heat resistant. Um, as you can see on, you know, on the, the, everything on the label here, uh, when it says low taste retention. Now, I mean, I know that it's pretty much cardinal rule not to mix up your flavors in an RDA or a sub-ohm, right? But on this stuff, when you're done vaping and hitting your, you know, three to five hits after so many drops of e-juice, you can actually layer on another flavor with very low flavor retention carrying over onto the next flavor. This is really, really good cotton. It's it's high quality. Um, you check check out the back here. It's got tasteless, odorless, pesticide free, no bleaching, tested, certified, all kind of good stuff, right? So go on to Instagram, check out Kendo Vape Cotton. They really are some of the best out there. So what we're gonna do is open this bad boy up. Comes in a great big fluff. I've got some extra. I got some extra wire hanging out in there and comes in this great big fluffy awesomeness. 100% organic, even got a little bit of plant happiness going on in there. But what we're going to do is take off just a slight little pinch here. And that's probably more than I'm going to need for both sides here. So what I'm going to do is just take a little tiny bit. That's probably pretty good. Okay, so getting a real good shot of the coil here. We're gonna take our little fluff and just sort of, just stick it under there just a little bit. I'm gonna take the tip of my little flat edge and wedge it underneath the coil, making sure that it gets under there real nice. Now you want a nice tight little fit, but you don't want it so tight that if the cotton sometimes gets compacted a little bit too tight underneath these little coils, it won't wick as well because you do need just a little bit of kind of a fluffy aspect for it to absorb. So as you can see, you got both holes are exposed on each side of the coil, and that's really what you want. That's what's going to give you the dragon breath. But this is not a dragon coil. I will show you how to modify this to give you a little bit of that action too. But I'm going to spin this guy around. We're going to take another little tiny fluff. That one works. And we're going to wedge it right under the underside of the other one. And continue the process. If you want at this point before you put your juice on. You can take a teeny, teeny, tiny little wisp of your cotton, probably even smaller than that. Take it and just gently sort of wrap it over the top of your micro coil, just a little teeny wisp of it. Making sure once again, not to cover up the holes on either side. 
you want to make sure that these guys can vent. See? And what that's going to do is it's going to wick the juice from this side and around the inside of where the cotton is wedged over the top of the coil, just giving you amazing vapor. And that's going to give you the dragon breath. That'll give you a little micro dragon coil. But we're just going to leave this as is for now. Okay, we're going to load this up. Got some Philly Fog going on here, some Betsy Ross. These guys are my sponsor as well. Some of the best juice. Got the zero milligrams working. And we're just going to load up some drops here. This is a high VG liquid. And just kind of do our thing. Now, as you can see, because I didn't compact the cotton really super tight, it's absorbing pretty solidly. Okay, we're going to spin it around, get the other side. But you still want to kind of get in there and just squeeze the little bulb right into the cotton. That kind of helps prime it a little bit. Because even when it's this compact, it has a little bit of a rough time absorbing. Drum roll, please. That's a burner right there. Look at the little spinning tendrils of vapor. That's a beautiful thing, my friends. Okay, we're going to put the collar and the cap on this bad boy, give it a couple extra drops, and I'm going to show you how this bad boy vapes. So, here we go. Double bottom side feed air holes going on here. Dual build, 24 gauge, 12 wrap micro coil. Let's fire this bad boy up. Massive cloud, my folks. Massive cloud. And let me tell you something. The flavor is just out of sight. Um, I, I don't know what it is about these teeny little coils, but I have completely and totally fallen in love with these guys. I'm a big fan of the larger build coils as well. Some, you know, anything um, between a 2.5 to 4 millimeters, actually, I really dig. But these tiny little micro coils just create an intense amount of vapor, even on a 50-50 blend. Of course, your higher VG blends you're going to get some solid stuff out of too. But you do not sacrifice the flavor with, um, uh, with a vape uh, coil build like this. I mean, it's just, it's filling your mouth, it's filling your lungs with goodness. Couldn't be happier with this kind of a build. And... On top of that, a really, really good quality RDA. The SPQR X RDA is really, really solid. I like the plastic drip tip because it doesn't heat up as much. You do get a little bit of warmth going on with this RDA because, I mean, you, you, the uh, the micro coils are just an intense amount of uh, uh, releasing on the vapor. So you're going to get the heat, but you know what? Don't worry about it. Keep your lips on the RDA. Uh, drip tip rather and uh, you know you're gonna be just fine especially if you got a brand new battery in this bad boy you're making clouds so I want to thank SPQR guys were great for sending me an amazing RDA I'm gonna be absolutely loving this if you dig these reviews if you dig everything that you've been watching on Instagram Please tell your friends, all your vape fam out there to give me a subscribe here on Joe of All Vapes on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram page at Joe of All Vapes underscore two. I've got some really awesome stuff coming up in the near future. Um, some uh, great uh, mod reviews, which is going to lead into my March Mod Madness. Uh, really, really big ad campaign that I've got going on with six great companies from around the United States that are all sending a custom-made, unregulated, and some of them are regulated mods to me for really, really solid in-depth reviews. That's starting the month of this March and moving on into the rest of the year, which is going to lead into a big announcement 
that I've got for everybody out there. You all are going to benefit from this. It's something I've been working on really closely. Um, it, it's it's uh, it's a really big uh, deal that I'm I'm putting together, and it's all going to be vape related. It's going to be some fun. I'm going to have some awesome discounts coming up, and a really really boss giveaway coming up in February. So definitely stay tuned for that. So this is Joe of All Vapes. I want to thank you for watching. Keep it cloudy, America.